Hello, welcome in third part. Uh, this is simple demonst demonstration where, uh, for example, you want to make a uh, exchange, simple exchange, one item for one item. We want to give someone 16 metal for 16 explode because we need more explode than metal for now. And the idea is simple. I show, I show uh, pre previously how to make this exchange one for one, but there is a one small problem. Uh, as you can see, we received 16, which is great. And we gave 16. But the problem is if someone drops not full stack, for example, 15, it's gonna act similar. There is no difference between 15, 16, or even one. Here is one explosive, and we're gonna pay someone 16 metal for one explosive. This is very bad deal, and we don't want this to happen. How to solve it? We're gonna use, uh, one second, I'm gonna use uh, Expando. Expando has this property where it expands, you know, uh, and after at some point it's gonna expand enough to this loader to work. I don't want to. I have full full uh, hatch qua with uh, with metal. That's the problem. One second. Okay. Okay, and now I'm gonna drop some explosive. It requires uh, at least 130, 193 to, uh, for this loader to, to act. So we will wait until it, it reaches this point. 112, not, nothing happens. We would have to uh, fill before we have con consumers you know, to, to this point, 177. And then when, when uh, consumer drops item, as you can see, now Expando is bigger and it will take stack from Expando, Expando gets smaller. There is one problem. We, we uh, paid, uh, we have taken two stacks from Expando. So we get here, 32 explo for 32 metal. This price ratio is fine, but now consumer has to drop two stacks before he gets product. To fix it, you can add loader here. So basically, uh, I'm gonna have to, you know, again, fill it to 192, but now, uh, one second, Okay, this expando will take one to the left side, one to the right, right side, and we can pay uh, 16 explo for uh, 16 metal and the other way. Okay, I will drop some more metal. If you want to charge more for something, uh, then you can simply uh, add uh, take this this loader somewhere, you know, to other expando, which is for us, you know, this is part of price. For example, if I want to sell one second, this item will drop, and now let me put here demo to red. It makes sense to charge uh, more for demo to red. For example, two stacks. So they're gonna be removed from this expando now and co consumer has to drop uh, two stacks before this expando will grow enough to, you know, to, to drop this item. So we can use this as signal and we can add here more expandos, uh, more loaders. So we can change price from, uh, it can vary from one item, two items, or three or four and these items will be full stack uh, but you have to have here 177 in other case if you have 122 like uh, in this case let me fill it okay one second 
I'm gonna remove these loaders because they're gonna be confusing. So now we return to, to the part where consumer pays only one stack. And but if he drops eleven, it's gonna expand because this expando will work when it's one thirty three. So if you don't want to lose any resources, you have to make this expando with one seventy seven. Otherwise, people can, uh, you know, take advantage of this uh, amount and drop only less. But you're gonna lose up to 15 explo in total. So if you sell 1,000 metal, then you don't. I don't think you care that you received 985 explo in return. So yeah. Uh, in next episode, I'm gonna show how you can get higher price than 4th 